In this class, we will discuss about Stokes theorem. It is one of the important theorems of electromagnetics. Let us try to understand this. Uh, for a convenience, I have already drawn the picture. Let us try to understand this. Now, these are x, y and z axis. Now, there is a field. What I want to calculate is f dot dr. Let us say this is the field f over the line. Over the line in the sense is nothing but this is the line for me. So, f dot dr I want to calculate. Now, if I try to calculate in the bottom side, it would be what? It is along this direction. So, I would have something called as some positive quantity. I do not know what is that, but let us take the positive quantity. Across this side, if I calculate, it is f dot dr. The line, field lines will be going out. So, it is a kind of a perpendicular and will not have a dot product for a perpendicular. So, this side, it will be, I can say that it is nothing or you can say 0. For this side, it will be negative because it is in opposite direction, it is trying to go in this way and you are trying to calculate like this over the line integral, so it will be a negative quantity. For this side, again it would be a, a 0 or nothing, so it would be same as this side, I can say that 0. So, f dot dr for this figure where these are the field lines f over this line integral, it would be nothing but I can say that it would be 0, agreed? because positive negative will get cancelled out. Now, if I try to calculate here in this figure 2 f dot dr, let us see what it is that. For this side again it is along the line, so it would be again a positive quantity. Along this side it is nothing but perpendicular, so it would be again 0, so it would be 0. Along this side, it is along the line where I am moving. So, if I am moving in this side, so if I am moving like this, it is along there. So, it would be a positive quantity, right. Here it was vice versa, right. So, I have, we have taken negative, here it would be a positive. Again in this side, it would be 0. So, this is positive, positive. So, can I say that f dot dr over the line integral, which will be nothing but can I say that it would be a positive quantity? It would be some positive number. Now, let us try to calculate here for the figure 3. Now, here if you move, again I have to calculate f dot dr. If I calculate in the bottom side, it would be again a positive quantity, same as previous. But if I go to the sides, now it is not going radially outward, it is going upward, it is along the line. So, the angle will be again along this line and this is a field line. So, the angle would be 0 degrees, so cos 0 is 1. So, again it comes out to be some positive quantity. Along this, again in the same concept, it would be a positive quantity. If I come this side, again it would be a positive quantity. So, can I say that it would be something positive f dot dr over the line integral? it would be some positive quantity. Let us try to understand the fourth figure. Fourth figure is bit tricky. If you see, if I go here, it is along the line, so it would be positive, but in the same way, there is another which is going back. So, what I can say is, there is, there is something going forward. Now, before going to the final figure, we can conclude something. Now, these fields are going in one direction. So, what I found is f dot dr is 0. These fields is going in the forward and some fields are going backward. If I place a stick here, what will happen? This field, this stick will be trying to move this side, this will try to move side. Can I say that it is trying to rotate the stick? So, wherever I can observe there is exist a curl, f dot dr is some positive value. So, if I place a stick here, it will try to rotate. So, there is a curl. So, I can observe that f dot dr is positive. If I place here, it will go uniformly. So, there is no curl. So, f dot dr is 0. If I place a stick here, it will rotate, right? So, there is a curl. So, it is a positive quantity. If I observe here, it is nothing but there will be small numbers of curl here, one curl here, one curl here. So, it may conclude to f dot dr over this figure, it would be nothing but f dot dr over this, it may cancel out because of the uh, 
positive direction and the negative direction clockwise or anti clockwise so we have to consider so we don't know so we'll say it will be something it depends it will be something we are not sure on that now so what i can say is whenever i'm trying to calculate f dot dr it has something to do with the curl because the quantity only exists if there is a curl the quantity only exists if there is a curl the quantity will not exist if there is no curl so it means f dot dr can i relate to with a curl let's see that so f dot dr over the line integral it will be nothing but it has something to do with the curl so how the curl is rotated del cross f this is the curl now this curl will be nothing but over the surface integral so what we are concluding is f dot dr over the line integral has to something to do with the curl which is nothing but del cross f ds is nothing but the surface which we are talking about so line integral is converted into a surface integral so this is what is called as curl strokes theorem we'll see more on this in the next lectures